The number you have dialed has been changed. The new number is... Please note, the new number is... Bushcraft and another exciting episode. But what I've got for you is um, a few pieces of equipment that you might find very, very handy when you're out doing your bushcraft or camping or even fishing. Very, very good equipment, I think. Uh, I'm going to test it out today and uh, show you all the stats that go with these pieces of equipment. It is currently raining. Uh, quite buggy as well and the uh, forecast is mm, well storms plenty of storms on the way apparently so what I need to do is go and find a decent location I need to go and get some water set up a little bit of a shelter and uh, show you this new gear that I've got exciting stuff guys it is exciting stuff guys I've got to say it I'm well excited so we're at the beginnings of a bit of a, a water source here as you can see it's fairly wet we've got a few reeds growing there so if i follow this downstream i'll be able to get some decent you're right there badge you should be able to get some decent water that is not chemically enhanced in any way shape or form we've got some frog spawn or frog spit frogs are out and about it's perfect weather for them People often ask me, where do, uh, where do I get my water from? Or how do I get clean water in a sense when I'm out and about? So uh, I've got a couple of things to show you. Well, one is the straw that I use, the uh, live straw, and uh, some of the things that go with it. So this is a live straw that I use and this, uh, this can be used by itself. All you do is take off the top there and suck, dip this part into the water obviously and you can suck straight from the stream and uh, that's if you need water fast and quick. For now what I've done is I've filled this little bag that it comes with. I mean it's called water well and I can store this one is just for the water and what I can do is as soon as this one's empty take the straw out of that put it in there and uh, Bob's your uncle Fanny is your aunt as they say in good old UK and that's what I do for water guys this little system's called the water well and I'll leave links in the description uh, so if you want to have a look, check these out, you can do. It's a wee bit wet today, just a wee bit. You may get a bit of thunder later on. Slippy rocks, slippy rocks. <sighs> Whew. 
You're enjoying this, aren't you, Badge? Ay, ay, ay. That looks the safest path. If any of it's safe around here. Right. Yep, man down. Man down. Slipping and sliding all over the place. Let's go up there. This again is, yeah, it's falling away. As you can see, I'm gonna have to traverse my way up the bank. Man, we've got tons of blow down here. Oh God, I've just come up this uh, an elevation there guys from the stream down below and like a climbing frame trying to get over the, uh, the blow down. It's pretty immense in parts. Whew. As you can see. Is alles über die Plätze. Gotta somehow make my way through there. Now this should be fun. Yeah. I think one what one might do is go round rather than in between. Saying that though. This is looking very precarious. Oh man, check it out. Not so easy when you carry kind a of backpack. Man, look at this. Whoo! That is just a mission and a half. Instead of going this way, maybe I could crawl under there and go around. Or I could go this way, go over and under and up. That seems a better option right now. So I will make, I will traverse myself up the ascent. Even Badge is struggling. Like I say, guys, there are times oh, when one wonders what the hell. Right, we've made it through. Whew. Man, there were a couple of times there uh, where it was a bit scary. My legs disappeared in huge holes. Right, let's see what's across the horizon. All right, this is looking a bit better. Flatter area, this is what we're looking for. Badgie, have you found somewhere, girl? What have you found? Hey? Oh yeah, this is looking better. Whenever you're looking for new ground, somewhere new to set up camp, then you have to be weary of your uh, surroundings. And uh, one thing we have to take into consideration here is there could possibly be lightning today. And just looking a bit further on, it looks like there's a tree there that has been struck by lightning. Whew. So, but this area is fairly flat and uh, 
we do have access to uh, branches and so forth for wood for this little stove that I've got so I thought that was a bear there obviously there are no bears in the UK there is for you folks over in the USA I know that for sure and Canada but uh, we're lucky we don't seem to have that problem or I ain't seen any out anyway so but there are deer out I can hear the deer now check this out this tree has been hit by something as you can see there it's split right down to the base of the trunk so whether that was lightning or just maybe wind but we're in the center of a fairly crowded area here so that's unlikely that it's probably struck by lightning where all the resin is all right so this pitch here is uh, you can see there that's how well that is really is a decent piece all right so I've got some stuff there I just need to collect this resin beautiful see the resin there in that in this little branch same again very good this is more like it this is more like it This is definitely more like it. There's plenty of deadfall, but uh, the deadfall's no good. It's way, way too wet. It's still wet on the outside, but the inside should be fine. If you hear the snap, and it's the same sound as fire crackling, you know you're on a winner. So this is the uh, little baby guys. My new wood burning stove and as you can see it has a concertina type uh, fixing and we have a little door there which we can open and close where we can place our fuel. So if you wish to use a Trangia sort of like um, liquid fuel a 
as fuel rather than wood. Well then you can use this baby because it can sit quite nicely on there. And what we do is we have some holes as you can see spaced out and then what you do is you place the tent pegs through the holes to the level that you want basically and as you place it through making sure you get get it through the right hole always important this can still go on the bottom if you wish to uh, to collect the coals so you could fit that and it actually stabilizes the uh, when you, if, when you can get it, stabilizes the actual box itself but this piece that goes in and drops on top of the the two pegs that you've put in that's going to be where the wood wood gathers and obviously any coals form they can stay there and you've got your little stake grill that you stick on the top you've got two handles one on either side you need to lift it up fairly stable looks the business but uh, let's see how it works eh there plating the twigs just dry them ones off first just sticking some of this duff yet because we need to uh, create coals so guys once this is uh, up and running I'll bring you back but I think it's fairly established there and I'll tell you if it goes out I will let you know Whilst that's doing that guys, let me show you this new uh, skillet I've got. Hey baby, we got a flame on there. Nice. So check out this bad boy. Now this, this bag was uh, one that I bought separately. But a little bit like the, the last video that I did where I created uh, an auger handle and a, a pan handle. This is a similar type of thing really. 
uh, but very ingenious. So basically that's your skillet as you can see and then what you do is you place this piece on there and you turn the uh, top of the handle in a clockwise, clockwise direction righty tighty lefty loosey and there you go you've got your frying pan now at this point I can stick the grill on stick the old frying pan on and whilst that's doing that you'll see the frying pan it will start to burn I've already already uh, seasoned the skillet got a little bit of oil here that I keep in this little Jack Daniels bowl looks like that steak can go on there now Now I'll give you all the stats for the uh, for the frying pan, or the skillet. It is more of a skillet actually. Come on, this. And um, if you check out the links in the description, you can uh, you can go straight to where they sell these. Uh, grab yourself one. It's fairly reasonably priced. The firebox and the skillet. That's not bad. That's giving off a nice uh, heat and. You'll be surprised really, the, the price of this firebox, this cooker, is very, very reasonable. In comparison to some of the other wood burning stoves, it's good, very good, very reasonable. Giving off some heat guys, I've got to say, I can feel it here, coming through on my knees. This is dulling the knife a little bit because I'm going to be careful not to go too much along the, uh, the skillet. Cast iron skillet by the way. Very light for a skillet. What I'll do is I'll, you know, you'll see now on the screen the stats and so forth. You can make up your own mind whether this is something that really is your cup of tea, really. Oh, baby. It's quick burner. A quick burner. That's handy really, how you can just sort of like lift the lid as I'm, I am doing there, the, uh, the front cover. And just push all of the uh, fuel in. Don't stick your nose on it, Patch. Steak looking mighty fine, mighty fine indeed. 
a minimal amount of wood, really. I think we're round about done there. We just might have enough wood, wood flame to get a bit of a brew on. Oh, there you go. So that'll keep the heat in. Let's bang that brew on there. Yeah, she's burnt right down now. But uh, our brew, yeah, that'll do. That's a fairly successful experiment. What I'll do is I'll show you me taking it down. And then it comes in this handy little bag. It's actual, nothing fancy, but it'll do the job packs away this is quite light as well the bag is very light and the cooker itself is uh, light nice and light so uh, yeah very very good I'm well impressed and there's no warping as far as this door is concerned I thought they might you know the the metal might warp a little bit so you can't open and close it this is really handy as well because it you do feel some heat off it, I'm not going to lie to you, but obviously not now, but when it was in full flame, there is a bit of heat, but it's it's bearable. And if you're wearing uh, uh, leather gloves, not a problem. So that's good, I'm really chuffed about that, actually. Badgie, get your nose out of the cook, sir. Come on, girl, play the game. So, happy days. Clean it off in camp, so it leaves you less to do when you get get home. Well, that is one excellent piece of kit. Easy to disassemble. It's nice and cool now. It's cooled down. Into the bag she goes. Voila. Ways. Nada. Ways. Nothing. Take that off. Slide this out. Shut the door. Pull that out. So let me show you around this little place as I finish off my brew. I'm not sure what that is. Some sort of algae. There's been a lot of blow down here. A lot of blow down. We're right up on the moors, so you're uh, you're bound to uh, it's bound to catch the wind. Proper 
loads of open land. Come here, Badge. Stay with your pappy. So that's the area. Beautiful England. Now look at that. That's interesting, isn't it? Look out of the way. That's curved round. A lot of the trees here are dead and uh, I'm not the first person to walk through these woods for sure just stop for a bit of a brew that's good that we're done so yeah guys this is uh, absolutely fantastic little area to do a bit of bushcraft limited on resources i've got to say because all we've got is pine 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 everywhere pine so if you ever think well you know i'll do two weeks survival then what you'll be living off is things like this Fallen out of the nest right away. You've got little creatures inside there. Ooh, interesting. But like in the olden days, Badge, stay away. Badgy, come on. No, it's not for you. Come on. Come on. That's it. Okay. Got a lot of trees there. Crying in the wind. But uh, in this sort of like environment, you ain't surviving. You've got eggs, yeah, maybe. You might find some squirrels. I mean, the sheep, obviously. We don't want to be poaching. Um, but it's limited. And as far as foraging for plant life, well, as you can see from the ground, it's full of duff. So you're not going to find much to be able to and be able to sustain yourself for two weeks after the first day you'll be absolutely wiped out because the first day is all about building a shelter as well as the shelter you might want a bed you might want to go around you've got to collect all your firewood and so forth but also you might want to go around and do a bit of exploration to find out what uh, what resources there are around especially a water supply so that's going to be your first day then you're going to feel very weak after that because you probably won't have a full night's sleep um, and then fatigue sets in and um, the journey continues so it's not you know one of my subscribers uh, commented recently you know have you ever been out and survived done a two-week survival and that's not an easy question to answer um, because it all depends on the environment that you're in and uh, this environment although we have got sheep over there if this was for real then there probably wouldn't be sheep there you know there may be other animals but uh, it all takes a lot of energy a lot of energy and the, the the whole thing about survival is not being in a situation where you're gonna be around for weeks upon weeks in one particular area thinking about it you want to get to civilization as quickly as possible so, um, so yeah, that guys, uh, enough rambling, I think. Uh, at this rate, the video will be hours and hours and hours long. So, I think I'm going to call it here, guys. So, just want to say, if you um, 
if you want to support the channel, you can support the channel. There are links down below, um, Patreon and so forth. I'm probably going to go with Subscribestar as well, I think. I may bin Patreon because of a few things that they may have done but, uh, or they have done. So, uh, but you can always uh, click on the links, click on the links for all the stuff that I've shown you. Uh, the new cooker, uh, the uh, obviously the skillet, and um, the water well um, survival straw and, and bags. Really, really handy. Uh, always have them type of things with me. Um, I've always got a lot of water with me, but you just you can never tell, can you? You can never be too safe. But um, yeah, if you want to support the channel, then subscribe if you've not subscribed before. All you guys who've been out there and been subscribing lately, I really appreciate it. Uh, we've grown another 500, 500 subscribers in the last six months. That's, that's I'm humble. That's massive for me, and I, I really appreciate it. Uh, what you can do to support the channel is uh, share, share the videos, share it with your friends, family, and on some of the uh, the other. Uh, social network sites and platforms uh, and groups and so forth and um, what else what else can we do to promote the channel I don't know guys any suggestions comments uh, leave them in the comment section and um, like I say click on the links and so forth and uh, you'll be you'll be uh, well pleased with the prices that some of these things are going for so until next time, I will love you and leave you and uh, say tatty bye. You take care and I'll see you on the next Hookfin Bushcraft. Bye for now. Leave no trace.